ba da ba 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 I'm grubbing it. That, that could have been like an alternative McDonald's. I'm I'm grabbing it. That's that's cute. I like that. Hey guys, I'm at that spike. I'm Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at how to use the quick tool options. Um, and I just recently got a comment about how to move and rotate things without having to hit a hot key. So I figured this is the perfect opportunity to go ahead and show you. So if you take a look at this, I'm gonna open up a new scene actually so you can see from the default view. Um, you see this this is what Blender opens up to obviously. Um, when you look around, you can see here on the left hand side you have a couple of different buttons here. So this first one is the select box tool. So if you click this, or sorry, if you his little if you if you click this and and hold it down, so don't, you can't just click. It doesn't work. If you click and hold it, um, you can see it'll open up this little dialog where you can choose tweak, select box, select circle, or select lasso. So essentially, what this is is select box the default. If you click and drag your mouse, you can drag a box and select multiple different objects in your scene, which is pretty cool. Um, and then if you go ahead and use the circle tool, it, you can click and drag a, a circle over top of anything um, and it'll select everything you click and hold over top of, like over the circle. You can change the radius as well, make the circle a little bit bigger and whatnot. So you can like select that, select that, select that. And now it works off of the origin. So whatever the center is. So if I just try to select the cube by just touching the little corner, it won't work. I have to actually go ahead and make sure it touches that little orange sphere in the center right there. That's the origin. And the same thing with the, the lamp as well. It doesn't work there. I got to go all the way with it. Um, so now the next one we have is the lasso tool, which is the, which is like cool. So you can like select things like this. Maybe you don't want to select the cube, but you want to select the camera and the lamp. So go ahead and do that. Boom. Now you got it. Maybe you just want the, the cube, just like that bad boy. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. It's like a lasso tool essentially. Um, but yeah, so moving forward, let's go put that back on the select box tweak is we don't really need to worry about tweak tweak is like literally just the mouse itself without being able to select anything. So like, if you don't want to select something for some reason, you just want to click. There you go. That's all you, that's what you got. But I, I recommend leaving it on select box so you can select things and you can still click them um, if you want to. So next is the origin. Well, not origin, but it's like the cursor tool. So if I click this and then click over here, you see the cursor moves. So that means that's now when we add an object. So when we hit shift A, shift A, you can search for something. You can put a cube down. It'll place there instead of placing in the center. Um, if you want to go ahead and move that cursor back to where it belongs, go ahead and make sure you put uh, go, go up to object here and then transform or not transform, sorry, set origin. And then you can see uh, you can choose a couple of different things. So you can go geometry to origin to geometry. These are changing the origins and everything like that. Actually, where's Oh, here we go. Uh, snap. My fault. That, that is that is my mistake. Go to snap here and you can go to um, and go cursor to selected cursor to world origin cursor to grid cursor to active. So essentially, if you want to snap the cursor to something that oh, make sure you go back to the select box or else you'll move that cursor again. Um, let's move it up here so you can see. Now, if I want to put this cursor back, let's go to, like I said, object snap and then cursor to world origin and then it'll put it right back there. So that's super simple cursor. Um, little tutorial i suppose and then this one right here these four are the really cool ones or at least three rather um so you can select this and when you click an object you can see it brings up the little transform dialogues now so we can move it on the x-axis the y-axis and the z-axis like that which is pretty pretty sweet you don't have to hit g you don't have to you don't have to hit um you don't have to hit the little move button you can just hit um this little button over here on the uh on the left right and top and bottoms which is which is pretty cool you can do the same thing with the rotate um key here so you can rotate this like this on the x-axis on the y-axis on the y-axis and the oop, and the z like that pretty cool stuff if you want to grab if you want to free rotate everything you can just go ahead and just grab the um, white circle on the edge there which is pretty pretty cool stuff so um, let's go ahead and grab this scale tool here. And now you can see we can scale things. You can scale it on the, on the, oop. Let's, let's actually make sure this isn't rotated weird so you can see what it's actually scaling. Go to scale. Um, you can go ahead and scale on the, on the uh, Y axis, on the X axis and on the Z axis without having to hit S to scale anything on your keyboard or hit an S Z or S Y or S X, any, any of that stuff. You can just do it uh, manually in this little white outline. If you click and drag that, it'll scale the whole thing up evenly so there you go no hotkeys necessary um especially because blender likes to change them a lot for some reason uh sometimes but um but yeah so then transforms literally all of these together so you can rotate um you can rotate like this you can move and you can scale so those are like all of them together it's like a it's like the avatar you know this is like earth bending water bending fire bending and this is like the avatar you can do everything at the same time um so there you go but um but these are the nice little quick tools there is like annotate which is just like oh hey if you want to like if you're working with someone or you want to remember something you go ahead and like 
draw this line you go make longer Ooh, that's horrible make longer there you go so you can annotate on it um but it only works from the perspective that you are looking at it in. <laughs> um so make sure you keep that in mind but yeah um, with annotate, uh, I don't use this too often, but like I said, it is uh, it is definitely necessary for some things. But the, mo the things you're going to use the most is definitely these four. You might use this little add cube button or something sometimes, but for the most part, oops, for the most part, you can see you can just click and drag a little cube open, which is pretty sweet. But I just want to talk about the transform tool options, which are these four up here and these two, obviously. But yeah, so that is uh, it for today's tutorial. This all works on every object. This works on the lamp as well. You can rotate the lamp. I don't know why you would. It's just a point lamp, but still. Hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.